today with farmer rancher or on a regenerative organic farm in central oregon but also designer and food system activist kate welcome kate and so we need to rebuild the aggregation of the middle, just like we are rebuilding processing of the middle and we are rebuilding distribution of this middle size of agriculture. We have systems that support the very small and tiny systems of agriculture, like farmers markets, CSAs, direct to consumer models. And then we have distribution models that support the giant industry. But what we've lost is this ag of the middle support. And so that is where you're going to find a scalable regenerative sourcing solution, but it takes catalytic um, uh, capital to rebuild this. So we also need that catalytic um, capital to support the transition. Much like we have transitional organic, we need to have systems that support these producers on their journey to first start monitoring. So those brands need to deploy catalytic capital to rebuild the mid-size aggregation that is scalable. And then it needs to also support the transition through commitment. And if I can reconnect this to your world, which is the art of creative and investment, the art of, of catalytic capital, right? We can continue to follow these old models of moving capital around that don't actually inspire innovation. In fact, it restricts innovation. Or investors can think of themselves as capital artists. How am I going to get creative and how I deploy this capital to inspire innovation and systems change? I have found this group that I am working on on the West Coast, Range Revolution, is doing its work to support this whole carcass utilization and this waste issue in leathers, in hides. Um, but it takes these co-conspirators who are also working on the slaughterhouse floor, on the distribution side, on finding homes for the bones and the fat and the offal. Um, and, and this group that's amassing here on the West Coast we are now meeting some of these, I'll say, capital artists who are helping learn how to deploy capital in artful ways to really propel this work. I don't want to recreate, you know, what are already really great models for deploying capital. So I'll just sort of like point to some people who I see doing excellent work and I would deploy more capital to them. Um, first and foremost, um, you know, people like Mad Capital and, and, and Dan from Steward, the work that they are doing in getting... Um, flexible capital, capital that supports transition on land. Um, you know, we have been the benefactor of the perennial fund from Mad Capital, and it has allowed us to take over more land and transition it to organic. 